Sandy here from dreamworks.co.uk and today I'm just going to be showing you how to create a basic website layer with two columns in Dreamweaver. So first we're going to do the thing we're going to do is press Ctrl N or Command N on a Mac, go to um, blank page, HTML, layout, none, and then just attach the CSS file and then just uh, attach the file sheet by going to the directory that it's in and beforehand you just want to create a file called styles.css and just leave it blank. So here's mine, I'm just going to attach it. Um, okay, and then I'm just going to hit OK, and then I'm going to hit Create, and then I'm going to go to Manage uh, Sites here, create a new site. I'm just going to call mine YouTube Example, and then the local root folder I have set up already, my YouTube Basic Web Page, uh, YouTube, well, oh, one moment, let's see, okay, you. YouTube basic web page. Okay. And then we're just gonna hit OK. And hit done. And we're now inside that directory. Now as you can see I uh, I already have a logo and a, um I just have some images in there. Okay, and we'll have our style sheet. So the first thing we want to do is uh, if you want you can change the title or something like uh, home or whatever, it doesn't really matter. First thing we want to do from here is create a uh, div id equals container and then just close that and then uh, forward slash div just to close the div tag there okay and we now have this in the center here and now we're going to go to our style sheet and we're going to apply some styles or properties to this so hash key container when uh, you create an id div then um, you need to use the hash key and when you create a class div then you need to uh, use like a full stop. Okay, so you open curly brace with uh, colon 720 pixels. Height will set to about 980 pixels, like so. And then margin dash left colon auto and margin dash right colon uh, auto semicolon again. And the margin, the auto margins here will just center it like so. Okay, so we now have this centered, and then background, background dash image, and that just allows us to set an Im a an image of a background. In this case, I have a uh, this set up here, just a gradient sort of thing with uh, a drop shadow that I made in Photoshop a moment ago. Okay, so next we're just going to go. We're just going to drop this tag down here, and inside of the container, we're going to create div class equals header. And as you can see, that'll appear, and we're just going to drop my uh, logo in there. Or, rather than call my header, you could call it logo, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to drag this along so that it fits. Um, okay. Then, then, div class equals nav. And we're going to put our navigation bar on there, so just uh, drag the navigation bar between them two tags. And it will appear right there, and we're just going to drag that so that it fits like so okay and now beneath that we're going to do div class equals column one and then div class equals column two oops alright so if we just type in content for column one and content for column two just so you can see where they are So there, at the moment, um, above the uh, like uh, directly beneath and above each other, which is not what we want them to be uh, side by side. We want them to stretch down the page. So we're going to go we'll go back onto a style sheet here, and we're just going to do dot column one, open and curly brace, um, with about 450 pixels. Height will set to 600 pixels or 650 pixels, and then we're going to apply uh, flow, we're going to do margin dash left 10 pixels in fact we'll leave that for now we're just going to do float colon left and we're going to make it float to the left and that's very important if we want to set up columns okay so as you can see here's column 1 and column 2 is still stretched across so now we need to apply some styles to that dot column 2 open and curly brace with 
200 and let's say 20 pixels and height we're going to set the same so that they're parallel to each other and then float left we want to apply, we need to make sure we apply the float so that they go next to each other because otherwise it, with i'll show what happens without that without that the, uh, it'll just be kind of messed up it won't really work it'll become distorted so we need to include this float uh, tag here and as you can see they're now right next to each other okay so now if we apply a border one pixels black uh, solid we'll apply that to both of them like so and then if we launch this by pressing F12 oh yeah we're gonna save this as index.html okay and as you can see at the moment there's no spaces between the very squi like the squash together and it doesn't look great so we're just gonna apply some more uh, layers uh, some sorry some style properties now we're just going to apply margin dash left to column one and we're gonna set a 10 pixel margin to the left and we're going to apply the same thing to column two and let's launch this and see what this looks like and as you can see it's starting to look a lot more spaced out now and there's still room to the edge of there so we're going to uh, increase the width to let's say 330 and see what that looks like and as you can see they're now fitting quite nicely so from here it's just a matter of applying let's say a background a background colour and we'll just apply a nice uh, dark grey like so to both of the columns and then if we refresh this we can see we've got kind of we can really see the columns standing out now and beneath this we might want to create a div class equals footer quickly like so and that'll just drop down there so we need to apply some styles to that we're just going to do dot footer and then we'll say uh, float left width of uh, about 670 pixels and margin left 10 pixels margin top 10 pixels um, and then let's say the height is going to be about 30 pixels and let's see what this looks like and as you can see we've got this right here we're now going to increase the width to 680, 690. Yeah, that looks about right. That looks okay. We might increase the uh, increase it to 695. That's fine. And then we again just apply this background, maybe a uh, height of about 40, and then increase the top margin to about 20, like so. And now we'll launch this. And as you can see, we now have a basic uh, layout. We we'll have our footer, and we we'll have two columns, and we'll, as well as our navbar and our logo. So I hope this has been helpful. That's about it. Uh, have a nice day.